All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching Ranking of Kings, episode 11. Uh, nothing safe for the start of this episode. Very much looking forward to it, though. So, as always, guys, like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's go into this episode right now. Oh, look at Baby Dida. Oh, so was this Dida's reasoning to being stronger? So he was a nice little boy, and then the mirror inflated his ego, so. Oh, Dida's got time to reflect on this now, I guess. What I'd really love to see is like Dida and Boji like grown up as like a kingly duo. I think that would be so cool. Mm, so Bebin from the beginning didn't see Boji as an actual weakling. Mm, what are they trying to get at here, I wonder? Oh, it's someone that's blind. Mm, I mean, that's kind of a weak thing to say. Yeah, exactly, this guy's going on living just fine. He's able to use a stick, he can get around. I like this, he's like, giving him valuable lessons right now. It's not about just being strong, but as a king, you've got to be noble. You've got to be there for your people. Who is this? Who is this kid? He hasn't got hands, what? Oh, it's a girl? Who is this meant to be? Oh, I feel bad for this kid. What's wrong with her, what's wrong with her face? I don't, don't judge someone like this. What the fuck? What lesson is being taught to Dida right now? I don't get it. Dida says these hands are rated E for everyone. Miranjo. What the fuck is this man? Not whose side we're supposed to be on right now. Who is this girl? Who is this girl? Who is this? Like, was it Bosse's sister or. Is there another soul trapped? Is it even a real person? I am the big confusion right now. Who was in this cell? Bro, the plot thickens. The story is just getting in more interesting by the day. Or by the episode. The Sword King of the Underworld. Is this dude not meant to work for you? Oh, look at healing in her armor, that's so cool. Oh, this dude's stamina still ain't the best. <laughs> I mean, you, you're making these guys walk in armor, healing, what do you expect? Oh, I haven't seen Hokuro and uh, Domas in a while. Where the hell did he get the prosthetic hand from? Ooh, some kind of event. Interesting. But you'll know when you see it, most likely. Lady Miranjo. Oh, sure. He knows who that is. Wait a minute. This is Miranjo? I completely forgot the name. My bad, I, I was like, I, I saw, before he even said Miranjo, I saw the cloak and I was like, wait, have I just completely forgotten this woman's real name? So this is her, but like, she's a little bit older here and she still has a, a hands and a face, like. Oh. She's like, got fake stuff, I get it. It's like the version of Miranjo that's trapped in... Deep down in Dida or Bosse. 
it's like a very younger before all this bad stuff version of her, I guess. Steal the kingdom of Bosse, holy shit. And back to Kage and Boji. Happy times. They're going to go back and realize so much shit has happened since they're gone. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Please tell. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, good point, okay. Oh, he can't understand him at all, but he's spent all this time with him. That's sweet. Exactly, dude. His weaknesses make him stronger. Oh, Despa's such a good teacher. Oh my god. Made me cry. <laughs> Made me cry. Yak. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm with you guys. Yuki! I thought the sword was shaking for a second there. Oh, we're getting a ride back home in style. Bro, Boji's about to go handle some criminals. Let's go. Oh, I'm going to miss Despa. Hope we see him again. Ooh, this captain does not look happy. Hitman Black the Brunette and Red the Copperhead. The massive Gigan possessing Pierce and Shank and a steel body. The bandit Zoku, leader of the Underworld's Band of Ruffians. Sword King of the Underworld, Oaken. Don't worry, Baji, you got this. She's not even in the kingdom right now. Shit, I'm down for some good fights in this anime. I'm hyped. King, King Bosse allowed himself to be captured? What? Ooh, I don't know. These guys might be a bit strong for you lot. Right, Bosse doesn't look like he's sweating though at all. Alright, so that was Ranking of Kings, episode 11. A uh, very good episode, setting up a lot of cool stories and plot lines going here. Um, it was nice to... It was interesting to see Mananjo. I completely forgot her name from... from inside of Dida's dream. Um, I just, I feel like I looked at the, the, the shape and the body and I just thought like it did not click in my mind that it was the, the girl in the hood. Um, interesting though, uh, we, we got a little bit of look into her past, it seems like. She seems to be missing her face and her hands. So the, the Miranjo that we see in the older version is like using prosthetics or using magic maybe to conceal her, what she actually looks like. I don't know. Um, but yeah, very excited to see where it goes from here. And we now have these six crazy underworld criminals now that we're gonna have to get through and it didn't seem like bossy was breaking a sweat at all there to be honest so maybe he's again it's all under bossy's kind of big plan me thinks um i think he's accounted for all this it's going to be very interesting to see this all unwrap uh this is episode 11 i believe there are 20 there's 23 episodes apparently so we're actually about halfway through now which is cool 12 more episodes to go. Uh, very excited to see the rest. And yeah, anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. And I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have an nice rest of your day and peace out.